Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin because the 13th of June is coming up and right now you guys can see we're bleeding and I just want to share with you guys some quick thoughts on what I think is going to happen. I think right now we're seeing a little bit of a shakeout happen in the altcoin market as well as the BTC market and this is happening almost a week before the 13th of June. This would be the perfect setup to fake out and break out. And what I mean by that is we're probably going to dump lower than these lows here and actually break down to maybe 25k and even wick down to about 24 possibly right before we get the good news to come out. And the reason why I think that's happening is because people want to shake out everyone who's holding here and anyone who's long leveraged before we make a move to the upside. We can see this happen before as well. No surprise, right before the breakout happened, we had a nasty fake out. And right now we've tried twice. So the buyers here are gonna be much weaker. And you can see we are trying to break down here. Last time we held at about 25870. I don't think the third time is gonna hold, but I could be wrong. And I would not mind going sideways, but if I was a market maker, and I was trying to manipulate the masses, which by the way, guys, it is no surprise that this market is manipulated. If that takes you by surprise, you simply haven't been in the game long enough. We are being manipulated, but the idea is to be aware of the manipulation and still be able to play the game while riding on the whale's back because we're little fish in the sea. So we want to just hop on the whale's back and make sure we get to the same destination without getting too many cuts on us. So right now the bleed is happening. I expect this to continue to happen up until we get to maybe June 13th. And then I expect with the lower inflation numbers, we're gonna see the market reverse and everyone's gonna start thinking, oh, inflation's coming down. There's the reason why we're pumping, but really this is all orchestrated in a way to get you to sell before the pump. That's my current expectation. The market has been very boring for the past couple of months and we finally have data to help us stimulate the market in some way. So right now you guys can see we're still holding that level, but slowly breaking down as BTC makes its way down. BTC dominance is still trading sideways, hasn't broken that level of 47.10, which is a really important level because if we break that, then we possibly have alt season right around the corner. Uh, BTC pushing down, I assume Ethereum is also pushing down as well. Let's take a look at that. Ethereum is pushing down, but it's got more room to the downside because it had a run up here before the dump. So Ethereum to about 1700 is what I'm looking at. And at worst case scenario, I would say BTC to maybe 24K. So we'll have to see if we actually get there. You guys can see that the moving average here is about 24, 24,964. And we've got support down here at about 24,275. So looking at this, it looks like we are actually going to head towards the downside and actually break this. We have to wait and see. It's happening live, but I imagine we're going to get some buyers to come in before they get overwhelmed and actually break to the downside because this is three attempts to the downside and we have the downtrend and we have broken out of the triangle to the downside. So if you look here, we have the triangle that's finally been broken and it looks like we're actually going to close under it but we still have a couple hours to go about eight hours to close there we are still have a little bit of room to the downside to break and then panic is going to be setting loose but it looks like it is going to be happening but i'm not going to watch paint to dry so moving on to polka dot and polka dot should be bleeding here yep polka dot is bleeding as you guys can see polka dot breaking down not what i wanted to see here so not looking too great. I expected Polkadot to do better than this, but it's not holding up. And over here we have Polkadot on the Bitcoin side holding up. So this is a good sign. So if this keeps holding, that'd be fine. It's just the structure has been broken here. So unless we can regain it in the next seven, eight hours, this is going to probably head towards the downside of around 4.6 and probably 4.4. So not what I wanted to see happen on the alt. They're taking a big hit. Let's just take a look at the list here and see what's going on. So yeah, a lot of things are taking a hit here, AGI as well, but AGI has some room to the downside here to keep structure intact. So DOT not doing too well, it's suffering a little bit. And if we take a look at Adam over here, Adam seems to have broken the bottom as well. We talked about this, about how we have the next level coming up about 8.6, that's 10, 15% to the downside here. Adam BTC, is this breaking down as well? No, this is holding. So it's got a little bit of room, which means recovery is possible. Adam ETH still holding as well, is doing better than Polkadot. So Adam versus Polkadot, Adam is winning the race because it is holding better. Adam or Dot on the ETH side, it is bleeding as well. So not looking too hot. We really want to see us hold this level. Otherwise, it's going to get pretty ugly for Polkadot. And you can see it's still pushing down. Did BTC break down that range? Let's take a look. There you go. We broke to the downside seven days before the news comes out. So... I expect us to keep falling at this point. We've got support at 25K. We've got support at 24K. 
the shakeout before the breakout. So let's see if BTC can actually make it down here in a faster fashion. If we take a look at the dollar index, I don't think the dollar is pushing up too much. No, we're actually got a lower high here, a nice bounce, but we seem to have found resistance. So with BTC pushing down right now, it just seems a little bit orchestrated to me that we are going to be heading up after this news comes out because it doesn't really make sense for it to dump before the news. So there you guys can see aggressive selling coming out of BTC right here and support coming up at about 25, yeah, about 25 to 24.9. So we're probably going to hit that and get a little of a bounce and maybe break it one more time, scare people out, and then the breakout will come after the data is released. That's my current thesis. So we'll see if that actually happens, but I like what I'm seeing. I'd rather get a dump before the news comes out because then we have a reason to pump and celebrate when people were really bearish. It just creates a very negative sentiment before, but then after the news comes out, a lot of people are going to be sidelined, which is a good thing because the market likes to punish people. So if people are afraid, a lot of people miss out and then it actually pushes to the upside. But those who know what is going on and have a better idea of what's happening in the markets and how it's being manipulated get to benefit more. So this is a PVP game, guys, and it pays to stay informed. Now let's take a look at Luxo and see what it's doing because I imagine it is also bleeding unless the ETH pair on Luxo is pushing up. So there you go. Luxo on the ETH side is pushing up. So Luxo isn't taking too much of a hit. Still about 9.7. It broke the low by a little bit, but ETH pair pushing up, giving it that boost it needs, which is I, which is why I like holding Luxo because even when BTC is bleeding, Luxo can show some strength. Luxo is kind of independent in that way. I mean, when the FTX collapse happened back in, when was it, November? November, December, or was it somewhere around here? You know, Luxo held a pretty good level compared to what happened to all the other altcoins. So it's a very comfortable hold and I like to see it pump during this bleed down to 25K. But I'm gonna keep it short and sweet guys. Not much else to talk about here. Overall, this is positive that this came before the data came out because it just creates that negative mindset that we need before positivity comes out of this market. So I remain bullish unless we break some key levels, which we have a way to go. We still have a lot of leeway to the downside. I could see BTC going all the way 23.5K and it would still be fine in terms of structure. It'd have a lot of work to do, but it would still be fine in terms of structure. So let's take a look at the daily and see where the moving averages are set. And over here we have the moving average about 2.3264. So we have eight days left until the 13th. I could definitely see it coming down here. And then we start making our way towards the upside and break all this resistance and actually shoot up to about 32K once the news comes out. So that's my current thesis. Of course, things might take a little bit longer, but the basic idea is we're gonna be bearish before the news comes out and then we're gonna see inflation drop significantly. Liquidity is gonna enter the market and we're gonna see BTC actually start to take off like we did here and like we did there. And I expect it to continue somewhere between 24.9 and 23.3. So that is my current plan. We'll see if it works out. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.